Do you love coffee? Do you want to learn how to cut metal? Do you want to learn how to weld? Do you enjoy gratuitous ass shots? Do you love America? <laughs> Well, this might just be the show for you. All right, guys, so uh, disclaimer, this might be a boring video uh, if you're not into like how-to stuff or if you don't own a Duramax. But if you do happen to own a Duramax, since it's a 6.6 LB7, this might be helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna be going through uh, replacing the injectors and showing you kind of what it takes, how to do it, save yourself a lot of money. Um, the injectors themselves are expensive, but the labor is really what gets you. It's gonna be a long job. I might not get it all done in a day, but I'll show you how we do it and we'll go from there. Um, very first step, what we're gonna be doing is coming over here. We're gonna remove this fender liner and basically drain the coolant. Because if you don't drain the coolant, uh, you're gonna end up with coolant inside in case if one of the injector cups come out. So let's get that done. Okay, this is what we're trying to get to. So basically what we gotta do is get in there, pull that out and drain the fluid. Okay, so you may have the trouble I had that petcock is way too difficult to get on there or to get off, it just breaks apart, doesn't come off. So I just removed the lower radiator hose, used some vice grips, uh, popped it off. It makes a huge mess, but uh, it works. Next step, remove all this stuff, the piping, intake we'll get that out the way okay so we got it off i may have jumped the gun i forgot gotta disconnect the uh two batteries disconnect the negative terminal and move on to the next step Boom. There we go. Okay. Now we just gotta remove these bolts. back in here so I don't misplace them. Alright so here the first thing that you're gonna notice are these two clips that go into the side of the fuel management unit. Basically just put a screwdriver in there and lift up on the top one and on the bottom one pull down um, and then they should just basically pop right off real easy and then just remove the brackets and disconnect all the hoses to the fuel units and then you should be able to remove it pretty easily and get them out of the way. All right, so now we got the uh, fuel filter housing out and the computer. Uh, so now we're gonna work on getting this stuff out. Just basically unhook the injector harnesses and remove as much of the stuff as we can just to move it out of the way so we got some space. Um, and then we'll go work on that side, getting rid of a lot of the chunk over there. Okay, so basically what we got now is we got everything out, got it ready. We're gonna remove this top valve cover um, and then we'll move to the next step. There's just a couple bolts in here. Take care of all those. Should be good. Okay, so now that we got these main lines unhooked, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt the uh, top valve cover, and then we'll pull this puppy off and get down to the second valve cover. We're gonna unhook the wires after that. I wanna show you a little trick. This socket that you see down here is on one of the exhaust bolts. What it is is I just put a 17 millimeter with a adapter on it or you can use a deep well 17. But basically what this does is it gives you a prying point. 
because the top valve cover is very hard to get off and what you need to do is have something to get leverage up against. This worked out really well. I was able to get a small pry bar in there up under the lip. There's a little tab that sticks out on the uh, valve cover and what you do is you just pry up under there using this as leverage and it should pop off. It's gonna take some force, but you can do it. Okay guys, so I took the uh, second valve cover off. Didn't wanna film it because just removing bolts. So all I had to do before doing that is I took the wiring harnesses off of here. It's just these two bolts and then the two on each head. Um, and you just wanna mark their location so you know and then set them aside. Um, and I just put the bolts back in here so it's easy to uh, remember where they're at. Um, so now what we gotta do is remove this return line um, and it goes up and then there's another hole up in there. So we'll pull that off and then hopefully after that we should be able to, we'll take these little uh, keepers. So if you're looking there, basically it's this. Uh, it's a little keeper, there's a little screw there but you can't do that until you take this out. So you take these off, then we take these off, and then we should be able to get to the injectors. We'll use our special tool to pull that out. Okay, so now we got the um, those return lines off. Now we gotta do is we're gonna use this nifty little tool to pull those injectors. I've loosened all the lockdown bolts. Um, you can see right in there. These have all been locked down, uh, loosened up. So now what we're gonna do use our tool and break these injectors loose okay so here's the trick for getting these things off so first what you gotta do is take this out pop this in the hole just like that and what you can do is take a big ass breaker bar and it's a 15 millimeter I believe on this tool to make it fit and then bam, that's it. That's all there is to it. Some of them are, might be a little bit more stuck than others. This one's pretty straightforward, bam. Okay, so next what you need to do is remove the turbo pipe on this side, it's a little blue pipe here. Then you need to disconnect the wiring harnesses here and disconnect the coolant hose going to the thermostat. Disconnect your fuel lines with the quick disconnect here. Remove your glow plug mount module that's mounted on the top of the valve cover. It's located on this side. Uh, just should just be a couple bolts. Pop that off. Uh, and then the rest is pretty much the same as the other side. Okay, so uh, finally got this side off. I don't know if you can see in here, but there's like two bolts over on this side. Complete pain in the ass to get off on the valve covers both the top and the bottom because there's just no room to get an actual like wrench in there. I had to get a special tool and custom fit it to fit. Okay, so this is the tool that I got and it allows you to put a bit in it. Um, and even with this tool, I got it at AutoZone for like uh, five bucks or something. But even with this tool, it doesn't quite fit in it right. So like it's still too uh, big, so what I had to do, I took the bit and ground it down to where it was really small, and then it fit. So instead of being like something like that, it goes all the way in so it sits like that. Um, and now it fits, but even with that it's still really, really close. It's a pain in the ass, but yeah, that's a little trick. Holy shit guys, this has taken me so long. So basically what I'm gonna show you, I've got these all pretty much taken care of, cleaned out the bores, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the new injectors. After we get the new injectors in, um, we're just gonna basically put everything back together. I may not get this all done right now, but we'll just do this as we can. As we can. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just taking our O-rings and putting them onto the new injectors. Uh, the first one, the bigger one, is going to go down here into the second slot. So not the first one, but the second one. Um, and then what we're going to do is take our small O-ring and put it up on the top where the high pressure line goes. So you basically just roll it on there, nice and easy, nothing too crazy. And that should be good to go. Okay, so first things first, we have a shiny new injector. 
take some oil and lube up these o-rings diesel oil just lube them up and put a little bit on here too just for right now but I'm gonna keep the caps on so we're just putting that on there and just lubing this up real good double check make sure the holes nice and clean I'll take this off take this piece Okay, so now you can see we got them in there, torqued them down. So you just torque down these hold down bolts. Um, basically, after we're lubing up the O-rings, putting them in there, got both sides in. Um, so now the next step is gonna be doing the return line um, and torquing those. That might be difficult because there's not a lot of room. This side's better, but that side over there, there's like no room. So we'll see how we do this. We might have to get a different torque wrench or something. Okay, so we got everything torqued down. Uh, the hold downs are torqued, and then these are torqued. Had to use an inch pound torque wrench. This side was easy, the other side's a little bit more of a pain. Not as much room, especially back there, but use some angle bits, um, and you should be able to get it. Um, otherwise, just go by hand, but honestly, you really need to get it. It's 144 inch uh, pounds. Very important, otherwise these things can leak and it just defeats the whole point of what you're doing. So yeah, so now we'll get the uh, lower valve cover gaskets back on. Do not forget to use new return line seals. And remember there's a fifth bolt in the corner on each head. Make sure that you torque it down 144 inch pounds. Don't forget. Okay, we put the new lower valve cover on. We put a new seal in it. It just basically presses in real easy. So the next thing we're gonna do is put in our injector harnesses exactly the same side that, that we took them off in. All right, so now we got them on. Next thing we gotta do is get the top valve cover on. Okay, so now we got our silicone on here. Uh, I know it's not the gray stuff, but this is what we got from the kit. It works fine. It's the black, it's good for oil. Um, we put it on there, nice little beads, uh, rolling some dimes with our silicone. But uh, yeah, so now we'll just let this tack up and put it on. All right, we got it on, on to the next side. Okay, so now what you need to do is install your injector lines and keepers but in this little crack you want to put a little bit of RTV uh, what that's going to do is keep dirt and stuff from falling inside you don't want that um, after that torque it down should be 33 foot pounds for the LB7 um, you might need a crow's foot to do that which is just an attachment for a ratchet so you get your torque wrench on it whatever you do don't forget to take these caps off off of here before you put the top valve cover off like I had neglected to do. And now I had to redo the whole thing. So, yay me. Okay, after putting the keepers back on, putting the injection lines on, started putting all this stuff back together. Uh, opposite of removal. But also when you're here, replace these puppies. Cause they're kind of hard to get to otherwise. Um, and this is kind of what my old one looked like. It was kind of messed up. Seem was it wasn't overheating or anything, but this could definitely have become a problem. So, good thing it's cheap, easy, preventative. And then yeah, we'll finish putting this thing back together. All right, so you guys might have missed a bunch, but we got all of it back together. Uh, last step, we got to fill this up. But before you fill it up, you got to go and take that screw out. Fill it up until the water starts popping out of there. Put the screw back in, and then fill this up to the level. Boom, everything's hooked up, so I think it just needs to be really, really primed. Do you ever want to do a pair of diesel injectors ever again in your life? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, it's like super stiff, that's gotta be. All right, let's try this. Hey! Dude, it's 
Listen to how much quieter it is. It's true, and you adjusted the valves too while we were there. Hey, wait, but here's the, here's the golden thing. No smoke. Not yet, it takes a second. Let's see if it's done. It's running. <laughs> it sounds so much better, too. Listen, it's so much quieter. It doesn't sound like it's a whole lot. So. <laughs> For that amount of money, yeah. Holy crap. So I guess what's the next thing? We gotta take off the front bumper? The, the bro guard? This is all cosmetic, pretty much. We'll do the hugs and uh, brakes and maintenance stuff, but other than that, we're gonna get the bed and then paint the truck. Speaking of beds, you found that one, yeah, right? Yeah. You found that one bed, right? 550 bucks? Oh, that reminds me, you text me. I saw that. I pull it up. No, I saw it. You sent it to me. You sent me another picture. Look. So it's got like minor dents, but nothing serious. There's nothing like what we got. Yeah. And I mean the tail lights. We just did the ones off of it right now. But dude, all that hard work and look, it runs now. So what? Now you got to do an oil change? Yeah, I'm letting it run a little bit, then I'm gonna do an oil change. I'm gonna let it warm up, make sure everything's okay. And I think about doing a burnout. I want to. <laughs> yeah.